good morning all you junkies out there guess what what we're here at bush gardens again yay and yeah right behind us is iron Gwazi. now for this weekend i don't know if it's just this weekend or if it's going to be every weekend but today they opened up at nine o'clock and we were here at nine o'clock to get in and we've already rode iron Gwazi. And it's only 9.22. Still only a five minute wait. So if you get here early, you can definitely get the rides in. Now, we are on a Phoenix Rising testing watch. So we're gonna head right on over there and go check it out and make sure that they're testing or see if they're going to test today. There's a couple of reasons why they wouldn't be, but we'll see. There's a new show here at the Moroccan Palace called Rhythm of Nature. And from what I gather, so many of you have already watched it. Show times are at 12, 2, 4, and 6. We also are starting summer nights here at Bush Gardens. Stay longer, play later, or stay later, play longer. One of the two. Either way it works. Yeah, couple of spotty kitties way over there in the shade. You saw that he was watching me as I was going by and then I waved to him and then he says oh it's only Paul so he sat back down yeah okay well we'll keep that in mind next time <laughs> and we have cheetah hunt here at a five minute wait now uh, there's Maggie just loving and enjoying the ride so am I oh ooh, nice breeze yes actually definitely enjoying the ride and as we pass by, we see the meerkats playing around. Look at them, they're hopping and playing. And construction ducks and both of the hippos. So that's just Debbie and Kita in the pool in the water. Hi Debbie! Hi Kita! And over here we have the I think these are the Thompson gazelles. Hello. Looking up at us as we fly overhead. Marco! Hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and as we, I don't know, cable across this path, we come across Serengeti Flyer with only a five minute wait. Yeah! And Look yeah, the, zebra, the, the giraffes the are out. The giraffes are out and about. You can find them all over the place in Bush Gardens. And we come over to the land manatees, also the elephants. <laughs> Nice little skyline. And then we're coming up, of course, to Phoenix Rising. And they're only doing one side. They're only 
doing one side again. Now, keep in mind, do not bring your phone on this ride because Maggie's phone got lost. Probably where those uh, tall bushes are, or somewhere right along that hill there. All right, now let's get to Phoenix Rising and see what they got going on. There's something hanging off of the lift hill. What is that? That is hanging off of there. Wires? Looks like it. A whole bunch of wires? Well, I do know that they have done a test run. But that looks like it could be wires for the uh, lift hill lights. Because I do know that they were working on that. They do have the ride restriction fencing up. But over there, they got trucks in the path. So chances of them testing during the day, slim to none. Highly, highly unlikely. Um, yeah, they got a cement truck in the way there. Looks like ladders and scaffolding inside the station, not a train. And I'm sure if we look on the back on the brake run, we just see the train. No, we missed it. Ah. But it's definitely not in the station. Yep, but right there is a train with the water dummies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yay. Look at the paintwork being done. We'll get a closer look soon. Oh, looks like the log flume is not in operation today. Either that or it's not running yet. Ethan, watch your back. How's it going? You do? Vaguely. Yeah. Very vague, but I do. On YouTube. Junkie, right? yep. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Now you'll be on it too. <laughs> it's so great to be recognized. And we, we do get that quite often. Um, where, hey, hey, are you the Bush Garden Junkie? Hey, I know you. I've seen you around. Oh, well, I'm part of it too, so. Yeah, don't forget her. Okay, so right there. We will get a better look at it closer up. But yeah, that looks like uh, some wires for the lighting. Very possibly something definitely have all the ride restriction fencing but they do have it opened up there but yeah they are not going to run it when they have a cement truck in there I don't see anybody working on the lift hill
many workers all around here and see some more wood posts that they might be putting out around here. See the wood post right down there? I know some of them are going up front and I think that's for some netting up front. You'll see that there's a post put up up front there. Well, again, when we get the front view of it. Well, we heard Falcon's Fury running before, but either nobody's riding it or it broke down. <laughs> Not like much has changed in the bird's eye view of Phoenix Rising. Everything is all at the ground level now. Well, thank goodness for cloud cover today, folks, because otherwise it would be extremely unbearable. Yes, it's uh, supposed to get up to about 95 degrees. Uh, good thing it's a little bit drier today with less humidity, but it still doesn't matter if you're out in the hot sun. That's why I would like to be like the hippos in the water like that. Just, yep, just soaking in the water. Hey, the ducks took over the water. Okay. Uh, that to me seems like an escort or or something else. I don't know what they're planning on doing. They're leaving Cheetah Hunt, and we did see that empty train on the break right there. That's train number five. happened with cheetah hunt early early access so far has been a blast it's only like 10 30 10 40 maybe 10 45 10 46 okay 10 46 i was real close on the last one iron guazi cheetah hunt <laughs> sky ride cobra's curse and montu Lots of fun. Now we're gonna go on the edge of Africa and head on over to Pantopia. And hyenas are over here on this side. So the lion may be over here on this side. There she is. Hello. How you doing, gorgeous?
Good morning, Rose. <laughs> Nyala's grazing. And I know we saw them before, the gazelles, while we were on the sky ride. And then, uh oh, look out. We have summer camp. Yay! We have giraffes galore. Don't forget to visit giraffes galore. Well, we do have some workers on the lift hill again. And we have these posts put up. And I'm thinking the post is going to be for some kind of netting. Kind of like this kind of netting that's here. But it's going to span across this whole area. We popped the tire. And there's the train. Nice. And currently working on the queue line. There's the exit over there. They got all the uh, fencing up. Uh, they got an opening over there. So there's a few things that's a telltale sign whether or not they'll be testing soon. Well, with them all there inside of the ride area, there's not going to be any testing right now. To do that again for the breeze. <laughs> if you have noticed, they moved the work walls back. And this was probably done a couple of weeks ago. And there's signs all over the place that says ride restricted area. Coming soon. One sign that they are ready for testing is these right here. Ride restricted area. That means no going beyond this wall. The reason why they have these are up are because this is in the area where the roller coaster will go. So they don't want anybody injured. So you can't go past any sign like this. Well, we don't see the people on the uh, lift hill anymore. For your safety, please 
And they are rearranging some of this area. They put a new wall over here. New area over here. The chances are this may be for like a Photoshop or something. And you come out of there, and if this store is closed, you walk out that way. Or something like that. And they notice they have a red lock on this door, along with the ride restricted signs. There we are. We're all melting like the popsicles. Yeah, just just melting. Okay. Melting away out here. Need to stay hydrated and hit the water rides which we're planning on doing now. As we can see, not much has changed here. We still got work walls, but we also have free beer. <laughs> we still only see the one marker right here. Let's hop on the train and find out if we can find out any more. And at, while we're over here, let's just uh, take a look back here in Jangala. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything has changed. Yeah, nothing has changed around here. Question is, what are they gonna do with this area right back here? I mean, a big area wide big area here what could they do with it very good question let's hope they're actually working on putting the gig over here or somewhere in this area and going out there I see Willie and I heard joy was out here somewhere hi Willie see Joy. Oh, she's hiding up there. Uh, Maju and Luna and baby Stella though are still inside uh, getting ready and taking care of each other and getting ready to come and see us pretty soon. The red and blue ride that we're currently passing under is Sheikra. Sheikra's 200 feet tall and features a 90 degree drop, reaching a top speed of about 70 miles per hour. But if you're looking for something just a little bit more intense, off to our right is Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is 206 feet tall, features a 91 degree drop, and reaches top speeds of 76 miles per hour. Especially when it's warm. So we are 
are taking a train ride because we want to get to see what's going on behind Chick-fil-A, see if we can see if there's any more survey markers or anything else for our rumored Giga Coaster, hopefully. Can't say too much, but we'll, we'll see when we get back there. Let's just enjoy the ride, shall we? Scorpion, the oldest roller coaster in the park. Scorpion features a 360 degree loop and reaches top speeds of about 55 miles per hour. And just past that is Falcon Fury, our drop tower. It'll take you almost 300 feet in the air, turn you face down, and drop you right back to the ground where you started. Falcon's Fury, 330 feet to drop. To our left is Stanley Falls Bloom, one of our two water rides here at the park. Stanley Falls Bloom reaches top speeds of about 25 miles per hour and is also the longest bloom ride in Florida and the entire southeastern United States. And most possibly one of the oldest. <laughs> Beyond the big wall to our left is the Jangala area of our park where you can see our tigers and orangutans and ride Kumba and the Congo River Rapids. supports. trip to see him. Oh, well, we actually have. Off to our left, blending in with some boulders are some of our white rhinos. White rhinos are the third largest land mammal, weighing 4,000 to 6,000 pounds each. See them way up there underneath the tree. And I'm guessing that one that's not so small anymore is our little potato spud that grew up. And do we see 
Jody. Up on the hill to our left, you can see some of our Grevy zebras. Grevy zebras are the larger type of zebra we have out here at our park, and their stripes end at their shoulders, leaving them with completely slight stomachs. I got that. I got that. Well, not out. What did I see? Oh, the male, I'm thinking. I think I saw the male behind oh. the fence. Could have been a water buck. He would be. Yeah. And over here is Cheetah Hunt with the water. And they're screaming. There's Serengeti Flyer with an 880 minute wait. We are now approaching the Nairobi train station, which is which the closest station down. too. As we slowly make our way to the Nairobi train station, everyone put their hands in the air, put them up, put them up, put them up, put them up. Yeah. And wave goodbye to our hardworking station master. Say bye, guys. Yeah. Come on, you can be loud than that. Say bye. Bye. Okay, we'll work on it. Our next stop will be the Stanley Hill train station, but if you do choose to remain on board, we'll be seeing them again in about half an hour. We're gonna take a quick look over here and find no animals. Got him spooked a little bit. Hello. Hi. for summer camps. Yeah, 
Way out in the distance on our left, you can just barely see one of our redneck ostriches. Redneck ostriches are the largest type of bird in the world and are actually strong enough to take down a fully grown lion in just one kick. Way over there. Yeah, we're going to have to zoom in on this one. And over there, the zebra. I think. Coming up on our right, the reddish animals with long horns are sable antelopes. Sable antelopes actually follow a matriarchy, which means each herd is a dominant female. Generally, they pick out males at two to three years of age, who then go on to form their own bachelor herds. Also coming up on our right are some of our grand zebras. Grand zebras are the smaller types of zebra we have here in our park, but are also the most photographed type of zebra in the world. So if you ever see a picture of our zebra on Facebook, Instagram, or some other social media, it's probably been a grand zebra. Once again on our right, those gray animals with the zebras and the horns are wildebeest. Wildebeest travel in herd of up to 1.5 million and during their migration they pick up a dust cloud so large it can be seen from the International Space Station. see some of our deep fossil water buff. The fossil water buff, despite their name, are not aquatic creatures, though they do have a habit of retreating into the water to escape predators. Came up there. Yeah, there are ostriches up there. Yeah. Right there, the water buck hiding. So yeah, when you look right there, you see the ostrich. Now, Loretta's been back there for the whole entire day. That's Eric, I think. The tail is red mark to our right is Goomba. Goomba's about 143 feet tall and features seven separate inversions, reaching a top speed of about 60 miles per hour. Goomba actually means roar in an African dialect, and it gets that name because it is incredibly loud. That is intentional, of course, because when filming it, they decided to make its track hollow. Now we're coming up behind Chick-fil-A. So now we keep an eye out for any kind of survey markers that we may see. Right past Kumba here. As we come around this bend to our right, you make it a glimpse of the Congo River Rapids, one of our two water rides here at the park. The Congo River Rapids is a great place for you and your own loving ones and friends to get absolutely Some back there. Hello. There were some flags back there out the road. See 
if we see anything here. think they would have anything this far out because of the street right there yeah I think that's 30th Street or something so but yeah I did see it what looked like some more markers some survey markers back there um, yeah we'll just have to review it later on and see what we actually I'm see very slowly. hey hon what what time is it it's pink chicken time. Is that right? Yep. Where are they? Over there. Oh, over there. Okay. Hey, there they are, the pink chickens. <laughs> They're all calm today. Wonder what's up with that. No party? I don't want to get hot bothered. Ah. And way over there, you'll see the white swan and some duckies, but most importantly, the pink chickens. We came, we, we saw, saw, we conquered. conquered. Well. We came to try to see if uh, Phoenix Rising was going to test, but Boo. they're not going to test it during the day when they have contractors in there. Um, from what I was seeing, they were actually working on the queue. Um, there was somebody on the lift hill, a couple of guys on the lift hill, which I think I saw them working on the electrical, the lighting. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of work, but from what I heard, after the park closes is when the testing starts. So when they get through with the queue line, there'll probably be some daytime test. We'll have to come back for that, don't we? Yep. Yeah. So until that time, we'll see, see you at the, the parks. parks. 